So you're between the ages of 20 to 30 and you're walking in the park and all of a sudden you see this old couple, probably old enough to be your great grandparents or grandparents. And they're sitting on the bench and they look real cute in your mind or they're walking and they're holding hands and you're thinking, man, you know what? I want that. Yeah, I want that. Especially you ladies, you're thinking, you know what? Yeah, that's something that I want. Well, guess what? You're not going to get that. You know why you're not going to get that? Because you're too busy thinking about yourself. I got to do me. I'm on my own journey. I got to do me. I got to I got to be me. I'm on my own life's journey. Hot girl summers. That's why you're not going to get it. Because what they have took time. The kind of time that you are not giving because you're too busy thinking about the Cabo trip, the hot girl summer, going to Vegas, going to Tulum, going to Miami. You're thinking about that. You're not thinking about what created that couple in the park that you think is so cute. You're not thinking about that. That takes time. The silent generation knew this. They knew that it takes time to build that up. Oh, you think this thing just miraculously starts? Sure. Okay. Okay. We all know that there are some exceptions to the rule, but generally speaking, you're talking about years of development, years of communication, years of vetting. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about this overnight social media bullshit that you're so used to via text and TikTok and all of that crap, that quick instant gratification crap. No, no, no. That's not what creates that couple that's 80 years old that you see in the park. No, we're talking long stretches. The kind of time that you don't have, right? Because you're thinking about the trip. You're thinking about your revenue. You're thinking about that eyelash business. Sole proprietorship. Individualism. You're not thinking about building a nation. You're not thinking about being that grandmother who has all of her lovely little grandkids running around. You're not thinking about that. You're not thinking about that. You do think about it when you see them in the park, but you don't think about the steps that it took to get there. You see the finish line. You see them in the park and you get excited, but you don't think about the steps that it took. You don't think about the conversations. You don't think about the outings. You don't think about the struggles that they went through, that they got over. Oh, you think it's going to be easy to be together from the 20s until the 80s. You think it's easy. You think it's easy for that woman that hooked up with that man when she was 26 and now she's 82. You think it was easy. See, this is in your head. You've convinced yourself that being together for that long, there are no problems. That's wrong. Everything is high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Everything in the human experience is high, low, high, low, high, low. But how tough are you to be able to get through it? That's what it is. So the next time you see that couple in the park and you're thinking, man, I wish that was me. Think about the process that it took to get to that point. Think about all the conversations, the thing that you would have to do right now. You're 26, you're 27, you're 25, you're 22, you're 23. The thing that you would have to do right now to put yourself in position for that is what you don't want to do because you're thinking about that trip to Cabo every summer with your girls. You're thinking about that. You're thinking about all the loser dudes that you've chosen that have given you bullshit. You're thinking that that's going to be every single time. So in your mind, you've checked out. I got to do me. I got to do me. I'm on my own journey. I got to do me. Rather than say, you know what? Maybe I need to change my game plan up in terms of who I choose. Yeah, I'm going to change my game plan up. I'm no longer going to go after these types of guys. I'm going to go after these types of guys. Yeah, maybe I'm going to change the type of environment that I select these men from or be in position to be chosen by a certain type of man. Yeah. Maybe I'll start screening my DMs a little bit more. 
I never do that, but maybe I'll try it. Maybe there'll be five DMs in there that are actually intelligent. Hmm, maybe I'll try that. I've never tried that before because I get like 200 a day. But maybe if I try it this time and maybe look at five a day and see, maybe it'll come from a decent man that will be what I'd like. See, these are the kinds of adjustments that you make. So it's not about, let me just turn it off completely. It's choose a different person to be the recipient of the energy you give. That's what it is, ladies. I keep saying this over and over because I have to drill it in your mind because you've been programmed. You have been programmed to be an individual. You have been programmed not to build nations. You have been programmed not to be mothers. You've been programmed to be individual worker bees that are working that career, making those other people lucrative, revenue building monsters. Yeah, that's what you've been programmed to be. Yeah. So because you've been programmed to do that, you adopt masculine traits. So what does that do? It changes your entire experience. And now you're sitting here talking about, I got to do me. And then when you see that couple in the park, you're like, damn, I wish. Oh, that would be nice. Well, there's a step. There's a process that you got to do. So if you want that type of situation, when you see that in the park, understand that right now, between 20 to 30 is the best time for you to create that or be in position for that. Right now, you're 26, you're 28, you're 23, you're 22. This is the best time for you to be in that position. The best time for it. I'm not saying that it can't happen after 30, not saying it can't happen after 35 and 40, but if you're talking about building a nation, it's a different ball game. Because building a nation is a different kind of thing.